All right, back out here. It is Sunday. I'm the only one here today. Uh, so, going to work through some of the stuff we need to get finished for pour. Uh, if you watched my short, you saw the big sauna tube deal. So, uh, Chris is coming by today. He's going to dig the hole for these. And then that mark on the wall is my elevation. So I'll set up the laser uh, tonight where I can really see it well and uh, make marks and cut the top level and at the correct elevation that we need it. And I'm working on filling in these gaps over top of the doors and windows. And one reason those take a little longer is because we have to build a lintel. And the lintel is a combination of basically three items. It'll be rebar, across it'll be the corners i've already kind of got my stuff set up so i'd be ready to go all right so each side of the opening takes four corners two at the bottom that come across and go down and two up at the top they're a little bit further out like that if you go over four feet in your opening engineer calls for a stirrup that will connect the two on each side every eight inches so it ends up being i'll have 34 stirrups across this opening 34 across that one uh the one for the door over here gets none if it's under four feet there's no stirrups there you go so i've got to build all that and put the blocks around it so that's the challenge these get two 12 inch blocks over top so i've got my 12 inch blocks ready there you go you'll see me get that ready and laid out and there's a couple over there so i need to get those done and the rest of the little punch list stuff really 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 want to pour thursday and uh i know we can pull it off if i can get a little bit of help and we can get it all together so that's what we're going to shoot for i've got a facetime call with steve woods from nadura today just showing where my progress is and what I've got and uh, seeing when he would come in. And uh, yeah, let's figure it out. All right, let's do a little check in. So the bottom part of the lintel is in place for the big doors. <laughs> All right, so what happens is 90 goes down in the wall and then the number five two number fives run across and you tie that down i put a screw not too tight but just a little bit just to keep it in place and then i move some uh the vertical so that they're with this now i'll come in here and i'll put the first 12 inch block in which will get us to here. And then I'll run two more number fives across. Those are the interim bars, as they call them. And actually, I've got to put corners with those. So it ends up being six corners per side. So that 12 inch will come in here. I'll put another set of bars down. Then you got the stirrup that will hook from this bar and it's supposed to hook to the top bar so actually what's going to have to happen now that i think about it well yeah that'll be right so i'm going to have to put the intern bars in here and they're going to have to be more like right here not up here because the next bar is hooked by the stirrup which puts it right about here i'll build the top row and i'll go ahead and put even though i could just put the four across the top i'll probably put number five so yeah so a lot of rebar goes in these deals because you don't want to be supporting your house with uh you know, this one piece of wood here or the concrete that's going to go across it so this will be two feet of concrete it'll be six number five bars and it'll be 34 stirrups that's what each one of these lentils will be made up of and then i got one over there and then we get to have fun with the big round one 
Oh, you, know, you might have seen in a short, if you watch the shorts, but Chris came over and dug the holes for my um, piers. These concrete piers are the columns for the uh, porch, which will be coming off of here. And I have to build one, a rectangular one there that ties into the wall of the house. So it's actually four columns that hold it all up. So we'll get that done. And yeah, keep on working. Thursday's coming quick. I can feel, I can feel the fire burn in my heart. Make it through the twists and turns out of the darkness. Built from broken bones. When times are tough, I walk ahead and breathe the storm. Skies opened up, I'm not hiding anymore. I keep on moving, carving out the stone. That's done. I'll show it from, uh, I'll go out there and get another view, but this was a lot of work, but there you go. So three levels of, so there's six corners, those bent corners at every side. So 24 corners just to do these two big doors. And then uh, I ended up doing six runs of number five bar and on top i did two runs of number four so plenty strong i've secured this i've still got to foam spray it but i'm beat <laughs> it's been a long day i do uh i usually stop around 2 30 to 3 30 but that took about 45 minutes but other than that i've been out here so I will come back out tonight when I can see the uh, laser beam really easy and I'll set it.
to the correct elevation so I can mark up these where I need to cut them and then tomorrow I'll uh, put all the rebar in there there's a certain rebar schedule I have to follow so that's gonna be great then those will be done so really the two main things that are a lot of time consuming is finishing that and doing what I just did doing what I just did but over top of the circular wall here so yeah uh, that's going to take considerably more time because it's got to bend. But James will be here tomorrow, so and Quincy, so maybe I can uh, be on the outside and screw the wall as I go screw boards to the top of the pre-buck and be pushing against it. So that might go a little faster in building that. So ideally, that and that would be done by end of day tomorrow, leaving us. Tuesday and Wednesday to get the isolated footings in and to cut in all the pockets. So wherever steel's going, I've got to do a 11 inch deep pocket. It was uh, a foot one inch, but I built all this. It's a little different, but anyway, I'll get into that later. So still gotta do some uh, boards there. So there's a pot, like for example, there's a pocket on that corner and a piece of steel lays in it that comes across here and lays in here. So this gets cut and a pocket gets here. And right around there where those two pieces of rebar are two columns with a short piece of steel that goes across which holds the weight of that steel since it's over the door opening. Now, so it's uh, W10 steel which is 10 inch steel and I need the top of the steel to be flush with the uh, top of the wall because I'm gonna lay the floor joist, get the hook at the end of the floor gets laid on top of the steel and the other end on top of the wall. So that would be level. So that gives you an idea of uh, all the fun I've got. It's, I think it's like eight pockets I've got to cut in and those pockets, uh, obviously cutting those in is easy, but then I've got to do some uh, threaded rod in them and yada 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 so lots of little stuff i've got to get and i've got to get some parts here before thursday if we're going to pour like i need some titan anchors which i can get fairly easily for the inside but the outside is supposed to take um i think it's galvanized i have to look on the plans but whatever it was i know it's harder to get but yeah, so nice. I'm so glad I pushed Chris to do this. He was just gonna leave the mess in the corner and do it later. But come on, man. Let's be able to see what it's like. This is perfect. Most of this will be grass, but you know, then we'll have patio there. Anyway, all right, stacked out. You know, the corners are just a little bit lower because I had to cut some corners in half, but that's fine. I'll just put a, I'll put something on top to make up for that during the pour. Take it back off. That's easy. Over the doors. Done. Wow. Man, it is looking good out here. It's all coming to the point we planned on. And finish the plumbing and, 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 and. So, all right. Well, I'm out for now. I get it in there. It's fine. Oh, who's that voice? Oh, Steve's back. Aren't you happy you're back? See? Josh looks happy up there in the sun. Josh is doing a great job. Josh is getting it done. So this is the correct way to build the steel pockets. Unlike what I had Quincy cut. But we won't tell Quincy waste this time. Yeah, see? Yeah, we got chairs now. So you just uh, cut out where your pocket needs to be, put foam on each side, and then you're just pouring up and finishing at the bottom level of the pocket. And there you go. So, haven't really filmed much because we have been uh, going hard at it. Steve got here and we thought he was gonna come in and tell us how great a job we're doing and instead he made a super long list and started hammering, so. 
Um, <laughs> we've been going through and taking care of stuff, getting done. Uh, that's all formed up. I got to finish gluing it. That one ended up being the hardest one because the tightest radius. So the tighter the radius, the more cuts you have to do and all that. So getting that straight. James is over here. He's been uh, sheathing the wall. So since this one's done, he comes in and sheaths it and then screws these on. And we'll do three plumb wall braces. So we got one, two, a third one to go here. And uh, you know, then he can, if it needs any adjustment, and but mainly so we have somewhere to walk, right? Yep. You good? Yep. All right. So James getting that done. Um, I'm uh, doing my thing. So that and let's see. So Josh finished putting in the uh, rebar for that. It took stirrups and. Uh, every 10 inches on center. We got these for our poles. We still have to cut this down. So that level is the correct level. So we got to cut that all the way around, cut that one and that one, and then trim the rebar back. Uh, but then that'll be ready for the pour. And yeah. And uh, I mean, we're close. No, you guys think I say that every time, but it really is. Uh, uh, the little stuff, the little stuff is what takes all the time. Uh, bending this, trying to get this top wall done. So I built all the lentils or the bottom lentil. And now I'm just bending that around and attaching that all the way, two levels and a little bit more rebar. That's done. I think I've already shown all this that Chris finished. I've got my bubblers I started making. Um, laying on the table that's something I do uh, at night when I'm tired and just want to keep doing a little bit of work so I'll take this three inch pipe inside later probably this evening and cut it to the lengths I need and then the bubbles will be ready to set in here uh, and attach and put more gravel around and have that ready for when we pour little things left to do uh, but I'm gonna run out of time unfortunately so we won't pour till the 24th because uh, I've got some stuff I've got to hand on some projects and things. So um, this is always, you know, this is my own project, so it's secondary, unfortunately. But uh, we wanted to pour today, but it was just too much little stuff. Let me show you some of it so you can avoid it. So whenever you have a T wall, which is just another wall tying into another wall without a corner, you have these braces that go inside and we decided uh, Steve wants to add more support for that. So that had to be done. I've got to finish over this wall and foam that in. So you got that. We got to foam around, foam around the openings. I have to put stack two number two 12 inch forms across the top and strap those in. We had to build all these, which are the forms for our isolated footings. Uh, this one has two columns. All these are, that's just for one column. The column's just a six by six. Uh, those take four by fours, two four by fours. This takes two four by fours in one form. And these five are uh, six by six columns. So we've got to set those out in certain areas. Uh, James's dad is getting all this mess out of here for us so we can run our lasers and set those where they need to be and get the heights where we want them and then we've got rebar that we have to lay out inside those 12 inches on center both ways number five in every one of these uh three inches above the uh the floor that we have now and set all those so that when we do the pour we can pour those as well yeah. then steel can be set how long do we wait to set steel after pour you think Okay, yeah. So, I have plenty of time with that. About three days, what Steve said. So if we pour on Monday the 24th, we'll probably set steel like Thursday or Friday of that week. Well. Yes. You look like you did some work today. Nice. Lots and lots of work 
that no one will even tell pretty much what was done. That's how much little stuff is involved. And not just in this, this is in any build. If you build houses, unless you're the grunts that come in and throw up the big stuff, but if you gotta finish and be ready for something, there's always a you know a little list. So have the uh, little ledges built for where the steel will sit, little pockets. Each pocket gets four vertical bars underneath and some stirrups to tie it in. This is as done as it's getting, so uh, James is putting plywood on like he did that one, so we can put some plumb wall in there and get that braced up. Trick. This is that ladder that almost, no, this is a different ladder, never mind. I thought it was the ladder that almost killed me, those that saw it in the video, that dropped and I was hanging in there. I, uh, I think I destroyed that thing, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. See? See a ledger board, cross ties, that wall straight, and now, and this distance is the same all the way through. And then, as we, if we need to adjust the wall after the pour, it'll adjust both walls, and there you go. Keeps your distance. Oh, pocket over there. Oh, it's a good shot from up here. So we got all the isolated footing forms set out. Everywhere you see one of those is where a steel column goes. And we're gonna take the beep beep and the top of these gets to set to the same elevation as the footings. So we'll go around and adjust those with grade stakes and get those all leveled out like they need to be. Uh, Josh has been doing the penetration, so those are probably a fourth of the way done. This, this house gets a lot. I've got to figure out where I want to set the uh, outside mini split. I mean, these are some things I can drill in later, like two inches smaller, but the big stuff we want to get, which we pretty much figured out. Um, that's it. So I thought I'd check in with everybody and talk a little bit. Steve from Nadura is about ready to hit the road. He came in to help do a pour and instead uh, got put to work. <laughs> He's been great. Uh, Donnie putting bar down in the round rooms. You ready to work 12 more hours? <laughs> you ready to work two more hours? I think we're all right. Hmm. What do you think? We getting there. Almost. Almost, right? Almost. All right. Well, I don't even know what this video is going to look like because there hasn't been a lot of filming. Because honestly, this last little bit is so much little crap that it'd just be all time lapse and stuff's aggravating. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, blazing out here. So it wouldn't be very uh, entertaining. We feel like we're in an oven. Yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna run you through where we're at though. So these, uh, tomorrow's the last day that we're working. Uh, there'll be a few things that James is gonna take care of during the week, but uh, these get leveled out tomorrow. The rebar's been cut, so we can lay all that out. Over top was already done, but it's now been strapped. You already saw earlier in the video all the uh, ledges for the steel. Michael's been doing a little bit of work. Just a little bit, right, Michael? Yeah. Uh, all right, so Josh and I work together. Makes it go a lot faster. So I will say, which this is true, I don't. it doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't, any kind of construction, ICF, CMU, conventional framing, whatever, it goes better when you got a second person. So um, I was able to be out here on the ladder, get those in position. We've still got a strap between them because like you see it poking out some. So we've got a strap between them put the second layer up. In fact, we'll go ahead and just put the second layer up, but we can do that from the inside on the scaffolding. Then we can strap between them. We can foam spray everything, and then we'll build the rest of the inside, finish the lentils. And that is the last bit of foam to be stacked for the basement. That's it. No more to be stacked. We're ready. To, we're pretty much ready to pour now. So if the pour trucks were coming, if the if the concrete trucks were coming tomorrow, 
we'd be ready. So just a little, little odds and ends though. So we're gonna take this time with our delay while we wait on uh, some people to be available. I've got to take care of some family stuff. And uh, yes, it's gonna be fine. So we got over top of the doors, had to finish those, had to build the lentils for that. So all that's done and foamed and blah, blah, blah. So, and I mean, uh, we got a little bit of cleanup to do and uh, we'll clean off that table and everything. I've got the bubblers to finish. I built, I didn't take it out there, but I'll show you this. But there's a 16 by 16 pier. So I went ahead and built it out of some of the pool forms. We'll attach that to the wall, I'll show you in a minute where that goes and we gotta do the rebar and that. Long days, hot days. I'm loving it though, I'm working with, you know, I'm able to work with my sons every day. So that's been fun. That's where that one goes for that pier. So we'll put it all in position and drill the concrete for the rebar and then epoxy it in and do our uh, stirrups. That matches up with these. Well, got trash cans in my way, but through here are the posts for that. And uh, yeah, so that's it. There's always one little more thing you can do, just make it that much a little bit better. But for the most part, uh, we're done. I know it's been a long road, but you know what? Honestly, I look back on it now and you know, 9,000 square foot house all concrete the basement is half of it so 4500 ish i'd have to look at the plans honestly 4500 square feet ish and a concrete pool and the pump room not we don't have our crap all sitting outside like a lot of people do don't have to worry about it and lower pool negative edge, complicated, all built by people that have never built this before, except for two days in the beginning when we set forms, the two times Aaron came out, which was a massive help with the, all three pools, Steve coming out, which was a massive help. So I'm not trying to discount any of that, but 90 days, I mean, March, March, April, May, June. So let's call it 120 by the time we're done. It's, you know, 120 days when you ain't never done this and you do this big a project, this complicated a project and two pools all at the same time. I think I'm going to take that as a win. And it's not like we worked every single day. And a lot of times it was just me or just me and Josh or just me and James or whatever. I mean, so it has not been in just me and Quincy. So it has in Chad. So it hasn't been massive crews. I'm actually going to do a sit down when this is all done. And really, I've kept up with it and figure out actual man hours in it. You, know, you average it out, though. You take it the days it was just me or days it was just a couple of us. I mean, I think it probably averages out to three people a day yeah. if you average it, you know. So I'm not disappointed at all with where we're at for the amount of work this is. And, you know, hey, I like it. It's going to be cool. What do you think, Josh? It's, it's going to be great. It's hot. Yeah, Josh thinks it's hot. <laughs> it is hot. It is hot. So, yeah, 90 plus we're in the direct sun most of the day. Yeah, the cloud, the clouds show up at the end. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, all right. So I'll do another video. This is in the end. I'll come through and film a little bit tomorrow when everything I just talked about is hopefully done, and I can tell you that we're 100% ready for pour and. I started editing some more on the last video or the video you'll see before you see this one. And I mean, it's when we were back filling the pool. So really just haven't had time to get as much video as I wanted. That would be entertaining. I mean, there's no reason me putting out a bunch of time-lapse crap that just, I mean, time-lapse has its place. You don't need to see a bunch of that. Just piss you off. Like Jeff put out another video and it sucks. Who cares? They put two pieces of foam on. So we want, we want it to be good content. So. That's it. We'll uh, see you tomorrow, and then after that, we'll see you on poor day. Hey, hey, hey. All right. So most of the video that you just saw was from like a week or more ago. 
Uh, then Mrs. Beely Good and I had to take off. We went up to New Jersey, which is her home state, and uh, had some family functions to attend. And honestly, it was great. Uh, it was good to see her family, and it was good to get some sleep. <laughs> I'll be honest, uh, that's a lot of what I did. <laughs> so got a break, uh, and all that was great. So uh, today is Saturday the 22nd, so tomorrow's Sunday the 23rd, and then Monday is poor day. We've confirmed trucks are lined up, everything's lined up, so lots has been cleaned up since the last video penetration's done there's a very 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 small punch list left one thing being <laughs> i've continually put off cutting the little tops of these even uh, but that one is in place and braced up this just needs to be cut we've got to put in rebar i'm going to epoxy into the wall and just high pieces that tie right to what we put in before that pour We've got um, water stop. It comes in a roll basically, and you adhere it to where the concrete's uh, gonna be poured, like on this ledge. And if water were to leak where it was bonded, then it would expand and fill the gap is what it's made for. So we gotta put that on, but we're not putting it on to the last minute because we may get a little bit of rain and we don't want to obviously just sit here and expand, so. But that's ready, I put out some uh, shorts uh, when I was doing that just to do some quick editing with that. All this you've seen, you drill holes so that you can get the uh, hose down in there and get concrete underneath. Those are steel pockets. I noticed I was, as I was editing that uh, I hadn't really shown those up close. I talked about them. And all this is cleaned out now we got our rebar in there, 12 inches on center. Table's been cleaned off and kind of moved over here. So it's out of the way of us doing those. And yeah, that's our uh, little pass through into the uh, crawl space over there and got another one over there for the sewer pipe. Because um, remember all this comes up 16 inches over what this is right now, so all that'll be in here. And uh, lots of penetrations and stuff. These, so this is one thing, I'll be working on this tomorrow. But on the other side, the floor joists for the uh, screen porch are four inches lower than the top of the wall. And then you pour, you know, concrete and everything and all that. So. The way this joist system works is they lay over on top of the wall. You'll see a lot more of that as we put it in. But easiest thing to tell you is there's little slots that we need to be four inches cut out of. So I was just gonna pour this whole wall four inches down, lay those in and all that. But say, you know what? I know the measurement, so I'm just gonna measure it over. This will be drilled. There'll be foam here. It'll be drilled to the foam. I'll make a mark at four inches and that'll just sit there. We'll pour around that, and then when we're done, we cut that foam out, block comes out, and then we got a little pocket to set that piece in. So that's the biggest thing I've got left to do. So we got, to, but we got tomorrow, uh, my nephew Dalton's coming back in town. He's gonna be here for a few weeks. You guys have seen him on the channel a few times before, so he's coming back. So that's gonna be awesome. And uh, yeah, so. Well, we're ready. Concrete trucks can roll on in because we will get it done now. So feel a lot better about things. Um, so we'll pour Monday and I will sit down. I'm gonna schedule live. You'll see it. It'll be scheduled for a little bit so everybody knows it's coming. And it's gonna be kind of a question and answer little session. Just kind of sit down, talk about what we liked, um, how everything went things we would do differently and that kind of stuff. So if you got any specific questions, you'll be able to ask them. We'll have the live chat on, but if you think about them, put them down in the comments and uh, we'll go over that. But um, rake that out a little bit more, but I mean, it's pretty much ready. And yeah, so I'm gonna fly the drone before it gets any darker. So we'll just get a final little shot before 
poor day, but I've got, uh, this is a new GoPro. So we'll see how the video looks on it. But so now I've got four. So I'll have one. Josh will have one he'll be filming with and then we'll have two stationary ones set up and we're going to be running the drone so hopefully we'll get a lot of footage on poor day and um, but you'll see this video then the next video they'll be out will probably be the demo of that corner the old house on the corner because uh, Chris and I got that done and I know Chris Chris gets his edited out a little bit faster than me so I'm sure that'll be coming up so we'll get that out and then you'll see the uh, the poor day video and uh, then they're just going to keep rolling on in I mean we are booked all through July setting the steel get set putting the floor system in place and starting up with the next wall and then uh, working with the company to come in here and we're going to put a coating on the pool plumb all that up and kind of get that thing going too so lots to do and uh lots of content appreciate everybody you know we slacked off a little bit on getting the videos out just because it was uh it was just time to get this this little stage done and move on to something uh the next part so appreciate everybody and see you real soon thanks more